Hey, it's your local fish keeper Sabrina. How's everyone doing? I hope you are well. Speaking of wellness, if you've watched last week's video, I've gotten myself two Congo puffers. Unfortunately, one of them, Calcifer, has ick or the white spot disease. White spot disease is very contagious and could kill your fish if not treated. Ick is a type of parasite that latches onto the fish's skin and fins and feeds on the fish's epidermal cells and leukocytes or white blood cells that is attracted to the site. As I scour videos on YouTube on how to treat ick for puffers, most of the medicine that they are using are not available from where I'm from. However, I found this particular anti-white spot and fungus medicine by Anti Labs, and it looked quite promising. After asking some puffer experts, they said it was an excellent medicine, so I'm going to try it for myself. Hashtag not sponsored, but Anti Labs, if you want to sponsor us, hit us up. The two main ingredients that they are using are malachite green and formaldehyde. These two ingredients are commonly used to treat ick. Malachite green may stain your clothes and tank, so I prefer to use a quarantine tank for treatment. What I love about this medicine is that it is plants, shrimps, and filter safe, which is just absolutely amazing to me. Dosing wise, they've written clear instructions on the bottle itself. You can also go to their website and use the dosage calculator provided to calculate the appropriate dosage for your own tank. It is a 7 day treatment regimen and dosing are only to be made on day 1, 3, 5, and 7. They recommend to do a 30% water change, but after consulting some puffer experts, they've advised me not to do a water change during treatment and only to do so after the treatment is done. Since my quarantine tank is quite small, honestly, I've decided to do a water change every day for Calcifer. In any case, definitely use your own best judgement. <laughs> Before we dose the medicine in and look at Calcifer's progress, I'm going to show you how I set up my quick quarantine tank. I use a small size tank, but you can use whatever safe container that can hold your dechlorinated water in. I've even used a bucket before. Next, I am adding in a cycled filter. In this case, I am using a sponge filter. It is important to use a cycled filter to help with the new tank's nitrogen cycle. Next, I make sure to have a tight-fitting lid. Especially for a tank so small, I don't want to have Calcifer go floor surfing anytime soon. After that's done, I'm going to move Calcifer in. With puffers, it is important to use a container or jar when moving them from one place to another. Using a net and carrying them out of water is very stressful for them. When they puff out of water, it is very harmful to them as they can't expel air out on their own. This will eventually kill them and you don't want to kill such an innocent creature. Now I'm adding the medicine in with the appropriate dosage. It is recommended to mix the medicine in with a container of dechlorinated water first before adding it to your tank. But here I am just adding it directly into the tank. The filter will eventually mix them. You will notice at this point that I am not using a heater, nor am I adding aquarium salt in. After consulting with some puffer experts, they believe that adding a heater and salt together with medicine is just an overkill and is quite unnecessary. It will just add more stress to the puffer. Now that's done, let's see Calcifer's progress. With all the best Lot of good it did for me I've walked the wall of China Walked till my feet were sore Came home to Carolina And found my love next door Well, why do you know? I didn't have to travel the world
till I found my love next door. Well, why do you know? Oh, I did, and I've traveled the world. Yeah, why do you know? To find a brown eyed man for a blue eyed girl. It's been a week of treatment for Calcifer and it is finally time to release the Kraken. He has been such a great trooper throughout the week and I believe he misses burying himself in sand more than ever. I prefer to switch off the lights when introducing my puffers to a new tank to lower their stress level. I hope today's video has been helpful for you. If you'd like to see more content, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And especially, don't forget to leave your comments down below as I love hearing from every single one of you. Until then, see you next time!